Disclaimer. This farm is built in creative mode using the Fant Mod custom game. This changes some of the mechanics of the game. For example, that the tote bots drop their heads as pickupable items. However, everything built here is 100% vanilla. There are no modded parts in this build. This is a three-phase programmable auto farm. With it, I can program which seeds I want planted for the next three cycles. It's composed of three main parts, the planting machines that contain every type of seed in the game by pairs. The crane that moves the selected seeds. and the farming vehicle that does the planting and collection. <laughs> it's controlled from this control panel, where each row of switches represents the three phases of the program, and the switches allow me to select the type of crop I want to plant in each phase. I start by selecting the seeds I want for each phase. Then I turn on the kill switch and press the green button to start the program. That triggers the crane to start looking for the selected seeds. When it finds them, it will pick the planting machine and it will bring it to the farming vehicle. When the machine is placed on the vehicle, it will trigger it to start the planting cycle. After planting, watering and fertilizing, it will go back inside. On its way back, it will make a stop to refill the water containers. After that, it will go back to the starting position where the crane will pick the planting machine back up to bring it back to where it was originally. When the planting machine is placed where it was, the crane will start the phase two of the process and look for the next planting machine. Once picked up, it will be placed on the vehicle. At this point, the vehicle will wait for the crops to grow. 
When the sensors outside detect the grown plants, they'll give the signal to the vehicle to collect and plant the next crop. The process will repeat itself for phase three of the program. When the last crop has been planted, the vehicle with no planting machine on it will wait to collect the last crop without planting again. This is where the cycle is over and the machine will wait to be emptied so it can go again. Additionally, on the left control panel, I can tell the machine to plant a single type of seed exclusively in case I don't want the whole cycle to happen or I want to repeatedly plant the same type of crop. The defense of the farm is automatic as well. It works by using this sort of sweeping machine that travels the wall of the farm, crushing hay bots, tote bots, and tape bots. The farm bots will be detected by the sensors that trigger the spud guns to kill them. When the raid starts and one of the sensors around the wall sends a signal to the machine, the defense system turns on. Once the defense contraption has finished killing all the bots, the collection system is activated going back and forth through the wall and collecting all spines and loot. I have experimented with a couple different iterations of the bot killing machine that functions kind of like a blender. The machine brings the bots in with the rotating wedges and kills them with saw blades. However, there were some problems with this. 
mainly that the FPS dropped to 10, but other than that, with the Haybots and Topots being scared of the saws, the machine had to be faster than them to bring them in, which proved to make it unreliable. And apart from that, the explosions from the farm bots often broke the saw blades. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for future content.